ready for this? If you know me, then you know that dancing is one of my favorite things to do. That is the case for a lot of people here at the high school. Many students dance all different styles, either in competitions, for performance, or for pleasure. I wanted to talk to dancers who don't just dance in the car like I do, so I sat down with some of the high school's most premier ballerinas, Bryn Goggins, Ariana Clark, Erin Diggins, and Emily DeBartolow, to learn about their experience and how they balance their schoolwork, performance schedule, and rehearsals. I dance with Pioneer Valley Ballet and I've been dancing for 15 years. The most rewarding part of my dance career so far has probably been um, the past three years. I've gone to different summer intensive around the U.S. So I've been to um, Ballet Austin and Carolina Ballet and um, it's been a great experience because you get to work with professionals and other dancers. And our studio also gives us a lot of different opportunities to perform in things other than just our own production. So I got to be part of a TEDx talk with that my dance teacher was doing, so that was really awesome. Um, I get to teach the pre-ballet class at our studio, so um, it's a bunch of five and six year old boys and girls who are taking the first ballet class, which has been super rewarding. We dance about 15 hours a week, and that's just on average, so if we have a show coming up, we dance way more. Um, and it is hard to get an understanding from teachers and staff at the high school sometimes, because they don't understand the kind of rehearsals and the kind of hours that it takes to be in a show or just to be rehearsing. Yeah, we also dance around 15 hours a week, if not more, which basically means that we don't have time for um, other sports, for working often or joining clubs. So it is kind of fully consuming. We do school and dance. Yeah, it's a very strict schedule. For me, I like to focus on ballet because um, it focuses a lot on technique, which is very important. And um, ballet is like the basic for all other styles of dance, which is nice. I also think there's a very good community at our studio. It's really fun to be with our friends there, and they give you, they teach you discipline and respect, which isn't something that you can always find. As a dancer, it's our job to make everything look easy, but there's such a high technical difficulty that ballet involves. And even though we aren't hamped up, ballet isn't a sport, but it takes um, an athlete to be able to do what we do. I decided to go back to my ballet days and learn some proper technique. So I had the girls teach me some basic ballet dance moves. You can see all these lovely dancers perform in the Nutcracker this holiday season at the Academy of Music. In other sports news, football has their senior night game tonight at 7.30 after the parade against Putnam. Boys soccer is away at 7 tonight in Aguam, and cross country has the PVIAC championship on Sunday at Stanley Park. Come practice your dance moves with me tomorrow night at the Haunted Homecoming Dance. Thanks for watching Hamped Up, I'm Lulu Kesson.